Thank you very much. Uh, let me come to you, Helen, I'll pick the, the MD at uh, WEF. In many ways, WEF is a unique institution. You sit in a place where you've got visibility and convening power. You listen to, through these conversations about what the aspirations are in the way the opportunity spaces also exist. What do you think WEF could do in terms of its role to make certain parties come together and things happen? Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. And so thank you very much for the invitation today to, to be on, on this panel. Um, as you may know, the World Economic Forum is an institution that uh, was started 40 years ago. It's an NGO based in Switzerland. But the core purpose of the institution is to bring together leaders from different walks of life, not only across industry sectors, uh, but across many walks of life, including governments, uh, civil society, and academia. Now, um, typically we bring those leaders together so that they can share different levels of understanding. Um, in certain instances, we do pick up where we feel we can play a useful role. We pick up and create an initiative, an ongoing piece of work where we invest significant time and effort. In fact, infrastructure in Africa is one of those such efforts. In, uh, at this um, time, two years ago, at the World Economic Forum on Africa in 2012, uh, which took place at that point in Addis Ababa, leaders there, uh, heads of state, said that there must be a greater level of involvement from the private sector in African investment, African infrastructure investment, excuse me. Um, we heard that. Um, two months later, having done a round of consultations, we felt that yes, we could support an ongoing piece of work. And basically with uh, the African Development Bank, with NEPAD, with the African Union Commission, structured a piece of work which has had two phases to date. And we're looking forward to reporting the outcomes of that work uh, in two days' time to uh, five or six heads of state who will be here wonderfully with us uh, in, in Abuja. Um, I, I would have to say, of course, we are not an organization that can invest ourselves, but what we can do is try and bring together uh, leaders, bring together ideas, so that investment becomes simpler or obvious to do. Um, perhaps I could describe a little bit of the journey that we've taken. Um, currently, we have 43 stakeholders working with us on this, which includes some of the global companies, as well as local uh, and regional companies. The work took place in two stages. In the first place, taking the PEDA uh, Priority Action Plan and with the Boston Consulting Group, um, taking that through a four-stage process of, of unbundling the 51 projects into 100 uh, smaller projects which were of comparable size, um, and then assessing them so that you could look at the readiness, the potential, the opportunity, um, and really collecting data to make the, the process one which all could contribute to and which is more transparent um, and which allows uh, um, uh, perhaps a refinement of the 51. In September 2013, seven specific projects were highlighted as being for, um, of high potential impact. The second phase of work has been primarily around diving down into two areas. The first is around project finance, financing at early stage, and the second is around transnational project management. Um, in parallel, we have taken some of those high priority projects and uh, driven technical workshops so that you can put this learning into practice. Um, I believe there are three specific corridors which are um, seen as of highest priority at the current time. What we hope to do over the next days, and I am particularly interested in your input and your guidance, is share the findings um, uh, with the global stakeholders who will be here, with the African uh, businesses who will be here, and ask the question, seek guidance around those specific corridors, and also guidance about whether a multi-stakeholder platform of this type is useful going forward. Having heard of um, the, the call for champions, having heard for the call for breaking down the problem into bite-sized chunks for the different stakeholders along this uh, value chain, um, it feels like there is something, some support we can offer. 
and obviously we, we are delighted to do so where, where that need is, um, is made. Just perhaps one last point. Um, I think uh, over the past two years we've had at least one international meeting every two months on African infrastructure development. Um, I am speaking as a, as a, uh, uh, a lay person on this. The team is actually on the plane right now to come here. But they have been extraordinarily busy driving this process and making sure that the lessons learned are being shared as a, a replicatable model from Africa for obviously other parts of the world that are really looking to understand how they can uh, take the same steps. Thank you very much. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.